are doing a crazy project today. We are using up paint by painting on the side of Amazon boxes <laughs> and using them for storage. Um, I And these will sit on a shelf and nobody can see in them. And I'm using up some very old paint. I already painted all the boxes black, the sides. And mixing colors, maybe not creating new colors. Um, just really and truly, I feel like I'm not, if I throw some of these older tubes away after using them on a couple projects, they're very old and aged and crustified and separating and everything else. Um, they're mostly acrylic. Uh, some are watercolors, but there's some kind of oil in some of them. They're very old. And this was a last ditch effort to use up a little bit more of the old paint. And then it's like, okay. They're all at least six or seven years old. I don't know how long watercolors last in the tube. Cheap watercolors um, are, are school grade. Um, so anyhow, it, it's just an excuse to use a little bit more, not feel as guilty about throwing them away now. Um, and, oh, I didn't paint this one black. I think I'll go back and paint it black because I realize you can still see stuff through it. Um, and I, it took me uh, several days to do this. I, I filmed this over a period of several days and several sessions. Just when I had a minute, I could go in here and paint and use up paint and pretend like I'm creating masterpieces and really and truly painting Amazon boxes. Um, there's a dog over here rolling around. I don't know what he's doing. Hey, anyhow, um, fun, fun stuff. And it was just a, you know, you, we get boxes all the time and it's like, what am I going to do? I, I've been throwing a lot of, or we recycle them a lot into the recycling thing. Uh, a na our neighbor, next door neighbor and I, us, shared the recycling bin. One pays for the trash can and one pays for the recycling. Because, I mean, we get, neither one of us can fill up a whole container in a week. So, um, we share the trash can and we share the recycle. Anyhow, you, you, you do what you got to do, you know? So, anyhow, it's cold here. It's foggy again. Actually, it's not really cold. It's getting up to 60 every day. But um, it starts out in the 30s or 40s. We've had a lot of fog, a lot of fog this winter. And this brightened my day um, over several courses of several days. Um, and making hydrangeas, making weird-shaped flowers, making upside down houses, making uh, geometric shapes. And just all I did was go over the outside of them. I kind of like outlined them in white pen paint, paint pen. And you know, it's better than vacuuming. It's better than cleaning out the sink in the kitchen. It's better than unloading the dishwasher again. I'm busy, I'm painting. <laughs> That's what you do, people. You, you got to do what you got to do. It's survival of the fittest out here. Oh, this is where I painted my house upside down. I, I you know, just... And I did use tempera paint sticks at times, too, because um, they went well over the black, and I had a variety of paint colors to choose from. So, uh, but then I realized this one is upside down, so I painted black over it and started fresh. A day or two later. Um, but the, the, the boxes are very porous, so it takes a lot of paint. Um, and it needs to be a really, uh, opaque paint, not a, a see-through one, because it just takes them down. Um, anyhow, so much fun. So freeing, so fun. Getting excited over storage containers that are not the same ones you see at Target and everywhere else, at Kia. They're pretty. Anyhow, um, this one was really abstract flowers and vines. But, you know, hey, fun. Just a little project here and there. One day I'm going to make some of these. I'm going to have the dog paint them. I'm going to put his paw in paint and have him paint on the side. I can sell them as masterpieces for dog um, adoption centers, right? Right. Gunner, you ready to go paint? He said no. Oh well, maybe next month. <laughs>
All right, we're gonna continue on with our painting of the boxes. Theoretically, if I have these black boxes, Amazon boxes that I painted black and started painting things on, my shelves will look a little bit more uniform. And I said that I found a white marker. This is a different one. I ordered a couple more and I ordered them some from some from Amazon, but I somehow didn't use the same brand. I thought I did. But they seem to be pretty darn good still. For now. Granted, this is probably not the best surface, but that's what I want to use them for. Right? Because now they look like roses, right? Or red carnations or something with some leaves here. I don't want them to be perfect, obviously. Mine aren't gonna be perfect, but they're better than plain boxes sitting here because we can't have that in an artist studio. All right, seems to be pretty good. This one is so pretty, but granted, this is the top. So this means my house is upside down. So we're gonna see if we can go over that somehow. Maybe more black paint. I'll work on this one. This one needs to dry a little bit. So. Black paint. A little bit of black paint here. And obviously this cardboard is pretty porous, so it does take a little bit of paint, especially the black. But I happen to have a drawer full of paint. This one does. It's okay if a little bit shows through. I just can't have my house upside down. Earthquake, you know? All right, I'm gonna fast forward because this is gonna be fun for a long time. So completely the exact same thing. Just shapes, no particular reason, no particular pattern, no particular colors. Uh, they all are about the same colors, uh, pretty much because I did them within the first, within a series of days, but um, I kept the paints out. So this, I was just trying to make blobs of color um, and again, it's not, it's, it's not rocket science. It's just painting the side of a box so I can stash things and nobody can see what's inside from standing in the middle of my craft room. Um, <clears throat> and it gave me an excuse to use some old paints up, which I desperately need to do. Um, and they're pretty durable boxes because I was able to fold this the top inside the boxes to create like double walls. So they're pretty sturdy. Um, good enough for old paint bottles and things like that that'll just sit on a shelf until they go to paint heaven, um, paint jar heaven. And it, it, you know, mostly fun, mostly fun. All right, this might be the last time I show this. Project, but now I'm just kind of making marks and shapes. I painted a couple more sides of these boxes using the same color palette, so nothing. Oops, there's a paint bubble. It's not all the way dry. I thought it was. Um, this is not the same marker that I got. It's called Liquid Chalk Marker, Lana and Luca. Fine art supplies made in China. Came on water based easy wipeout. It came on that little blue truck with the swoosh. Okay. 
I just kind of just want some contrast a little bit. Not contrast, just interest, interest, interest. That's what it's called. And it really doesn't have to be anything. Just so that they're all out of the same colors practically. And they all have a black background with a lot of white on top. And it's just an excuse to um, keep more stuff in boxes. If I'm coming to the conclusion that if things are hidden, it doesn't matter how much stuff you have, as long as you can hide it, right? Put it in a container with the lid or put it in a box that you can't see through. I used to like the boxes so you could see through them, so you could tell what's what. But now it's like, no, I, I need to hide everything. Even though I've gotten rid of, over the last, like, couple weeks, I've gotten rid of about four, no, probably five and a half trash bags, like a tall kitchen trash bag worth of stuff. Some was trash, some was donated, just wherever I can find a home for it. Now when it sits on the shelf, it'll have this side visible and that side visible. I have three of them. Hold on a sec. Here's the other one. Oh. And maybe that side is visible. And they're all kind of the same. Well, they're all a little bit different size. This is small for sure. These two are about the same size. One is taller than the other. But that's okay. They're colorful. They're free. <laughs> I'm repurposing better than the landfill. And it was fun. And now I can load them up with stuff on my shelf. Right? Right. I wonder. Hold on a second. This is a different thing. I, I made this yesterday, but I wonder if I can't glue that on there. <gasps> I bet you I can. Then I only have one more side to paint. I'm going to try to glue that on there. Same colors, pretty much, because I was just cleaning off a paintbrush, and I'm like, I like that shape. It's kind of like wackadoodle grapes. <laughs> Art should be fun, people. <laughs> oh, God. We should have this much fun every day, all day, right? This is um, much Podge. But I'm going to see if I can... Put this on here. I'm too lazy to get a box. I mean, another paintbrush out. But I could do that. And voila, I got another side painted. Maybe a little bit more. And it, I did it yesterday and last night, so it's dry. Good and dry. trim this and this after it dries. Good. And now I have a paint project. I repurposed. I had fun. I what else did I do? And I can continue my pattern of stashing stuff. Wahoo! Wahoo! How much better can that be? And it was fun, most of all. All right. See if I can get up to another bit of mischief tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.